Hey guys, this is Vinay and I'm back with the sixth video to the C++ programming or Linux video series and I'm going to discuss more about the outputs here. As we have seen and used the CR for free printing the output or the console in the last tutorial, but few more things that we have seen in that uh, what you call the iStream file in the include directory that were something called the C error and something called C log. Okay, forget. Okay, I reminded you. Open the last. Open using the last that iStream file. Where was that? That was in the user. And where is that? It was in the in include folder. And that was the C++ file. C++ its version. And what was the name of the file? iStream that thing. Okay, go inside that. Move on to that. We have seen. Okay. We have seen these these objects say we have seen the CN, CL, CR, C log. We can see that it's for the input. We'll discuss it later. We have used it already, C out. But what these things, C error, C log, these are these are also the standard error, the standard something. Oh what's that? I don't know. Uh, we we do we do have to check it out. What's that? C error, C log? Okay. We have to check it out. What we have did in the last tutorial, we were having some file out there, print.cc, gedited, print.cc, bam. Uh, what can we see here? Uh, in the last tutorial, we have created the I am the best and L character. We have printed it in two different lines. Okay. Uh, one more thing that I would like to say to you about it, that instead of writing another C out, we can write the handle character just by writing the uh, operator once again and writing the end up that will work the in the same way that would be clear in the next compilation that i'm saying i'm not lying and uh, the next thing that we need to discuss right here is what that c error and the c log i don't know what can we use we can just use it in the way we use the c out okay watch it out C error that was the object okay right that's some error because it's C console like that C and error so it's showing this the error on the console it's is the name of the object like that okay the error on the console we have just made it out and in a similar way I'm going to put the animal character in it what was the next object that we wanted to discuss but we don't know anything about that is the C log. I don't know what's that. It's also a console and doing some logging or something. Maybe. I don't know. What did it say? I'll do some the console logging. Bam. Log. And I'll print the anal 2. Okay. Now just save it out. What's this my mouse handle? Uh, let's save it out and uh, what the heck is going on? Save it out and then just close it. What's that? We have created a print.cc. There are three things we have used the CR, the CR, and the C log inside the application. Okay, let's compile it. Bam. Now we need to execute and check it out. What will, what will the output is there? It's is the compilation successful. That, that means it's clear that we use the C error and the C log in a similar way that we use the C out. Now what? Oh my God! What's the output? It's printing the uh, or the screen the same way the way we use the I'm the best. Then what's the difference between those? Why do we use the C error? Why do we use the C log in it if it's doing the same task? okay here comes the question here comes the here we need to know uh, the difference among them and for this we need to know about the outputs actually if we consider the Linux environment there are multiple or uh, more clearly there are two kinds of output and one output is for the normal output string as we have used the I am the best over there and the other output is for writing the errors Whenever there comes some error on the screen, we write it on there. Since it's a C++ language, we have the complete control over what I'm going to instruct the system. So there are several kind of objects out there. So hence, we use this. Now, uh, to check out of it, in the Linux environment, if we want to access the, that output, say whatever we type over here, say we write the pwd command and press enter, we got the output over here. 
maybe error or something okay for example do something like ha there's no such command ha okay press enter it, it's giving some output the program has currently not installed and it's showing some error so uh, what can we see what can we uh, look at here that it's the error it's showing some error so this output is going over some erroneous condition for example we are concatenating a print.cc and press enter it's giving some output over there what is that output this the code is written inside that source file and this is going right towards the normal standard normal output so there are two kinds of output one is for the error and for now how do we access those output windows say uh, whatever uh, what have we written to the error window and what have we written to the normal window i don't have any output i'm getting the output on the same screen how could i say that it's a different thing and for accessing those things we use the greater than sign for example check it out get circle uh, what we, we use we use the print.cc now if we write the greater than sign it's just showing that whatever the output of this command is going to be redirected somewhere so it's giving so whatever it's going to good get thrown over here now capture it how would we capture output it's or we can say it's the normal output normal out okay printer the, uh, on doing the cat print cc we always get some output but this time on writing this we didn't get any output because all the output that has to be written over here has been redirected to this normal allowed for example do not believe me normal allowed yeah the same output so whatever the output was there it get, has got redirected over here in a similar way uh, to access the standard error or the error window or error output uh, we cannot do use this just greater sign we want to use the second window and for using that second window what can we use cat print elements two and for using the just put a two because it's the second window it's the error window just before the greater sign now right what was the error out now we are not redirecting the normal output to somewhere so it goes over the standard output whatever we, whatever we are seeing over here that's why it's reflects some output and uh, there was no error so we can see that the error that out was empty so this is the way to access the standard output and the standard error in the Linux environment now what have we created we have created our program dot slash a out which is printing the I am the best the error on the console and the console logging there are three kinds of output so we can see the c out the c out function as we have uh, checked out in the uh, IS stream file for example uh, slash user include uh, c++ version number and io stream what have we seen here in the command portion that the c out linked to the standard output and c error and c log both are linked to the standard error so whatever we are writing through the c error or the c log would get redirected to the standard error don't believe me i'll show it to you dot slash a dot out redirected somewhere say the normal output normal out and uh, what uh, for the erroneous output it's two and the greater than sign and uh, what was the output error error dot out okay now press enter now check it out we haven't received any output for example when we have executed the error out we get the three strings like that but when uh, we have redirected the erroneous output and the normal output over here it doesn't print out anything because the output goes inside these two files check it out cat uh, normal out bam it's contained just i am the best because it is being printed using the c out object now check it out what's inside the error out cat error out press enter okay the other two strings the error on the console printed using the c error object and the console logging prints using printed using the c log object now you can see that both c error and the c uh, and the console are pointing towards uh, the uh, standard error then why do we having uh, why are we having the two objects and if we go to some other another function that uh, C out is just printing something, then why do we need another window for printing the errors? Why don't we print the errors over the same place? And this question can be answered in a simple way. 
because the uh, erroneous conditions are those conditions in which everything got lost and we want to print out everything immediately fast what c out objects in that print.cc what c out object does it buffered out it creates a buffer whenever c out needs to print as a string it creates a buffer put that i am the best string inside that buffer and then print that buffer over the normal window normal standard output okay now what c air does c air doesn't buffer it out it is unbuffered whatever whenever it found that some string it found it it observed it completes it, it accept it as an error and it uh, it is uh, smart enough that if there is an error we have to inform immediately so it doesn't create any buffer but if but reflects the error whatever the string is there directly over the screen in a similar way now uh, we got to know that okay the cr is unbuffered and is writing to the standard error and cr is buffered and is writing to the same error but sometimes there are circumstances we need that the error output to be uh, buffered because we need to manipulate the output in some way um, the, it's, uh, we, we cannot demonstrate here because whenever we deal with some large projects in our working environment we would uh, deal with the C L and the C log and there because there are some situations when we found that the, uh, we need to buffer that our erroneous output and uh, display it in some way in that case, uh, condition we can see that the C log is buffered so the console logging is doing the same task as the C out it, it is buffering this string and that throwing it but uh, what's the difference c out is buffering the same and printing it over the standard output and c log is printing is buffering the same but printing it over the standard error so in this tutorial we have got to understand the two new objects the c error and the c log that are used for writing on to the standard error and we got to know that the normal c out that we have used and that we will use all the time <laughs> that uh, object is used for writing over the standard output and one more thing that uh, we have understand here is how to access the erroneous uh, standard error and normal output in the linux environment using the greater than and two second greater than operator and this is enough for using the output in the linux environment and we'll discuss the other things and the more things and uh, taking some input in the next videos so have fun thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe